An orbital diagram is a diagram that shows the orbitals that each electron is occupying. Electrons are represented with arrows or half arrows and there could be a maximum of two electrons in an orbital and the arrows must be in opposite directions. Each energy level has a different number of sublevels and orbitals. We have to fill the sublevels in the correct order. Lower energy orbitals are lower on the energy scale and electrons will fill them first. When we draw in these arrows we can just follow them one at a time and it gives us the correct order to fill the sublevels. Sulfur has 16 electrons. I know that because its atomic number is 16. So starting at the lowest energy first is the 1s. On the 1s sublevel, there's just one orbital. S's always have one orbital. There could be two electrons in an orbital, so I'll draw one up and one down arrow. Next is the 2s. It's a little higher in energy, but it's still an s, so it can have two electrons. Next, we come to the 2p. A p sublevel has three orbitals, so I draw three lines like this. I'll spread the electrons out first. This is called Hund's rule. Electrons need to occupy empty orbitals before pairing up, and then I'll draw in the three down arrows after that. Next is the 3s. That's two more electrons. Finally, we come to the 3p, and that is all 16 electrons for sulfur.